goodness gracious, there's a whole lot of shaking going on. Hello, everyone. This is Nice Wonder. And I knew this day was going to come. And um, I'd already done some content uh, on the Now Man Show and uh, in vlogs about Jerry Lee Lewis. But now this blog is about his passing on to the next world or whatever that is. And so I wanted to celebrate his life, remembering Jerry Lee Lewis and my experiences. Um, I did get acquainted with him in the 90s. A friend of mine was his road manager for a while. I think the real momentous occasion was in Memphis, back in Indianapolis. I don't know why I was late getting to um, the, the storage area at, at the hotel there. They had all the band's gear and my stuff and everything was, was put into a, a storage area. Like, so it had its own personal place uh, once they checked out the hotel rooms. And so I went to get my stuff and the people at the hotel there in Indianapolis said, oh, everything was just taken with the entourage to the airport. And of course, they flew back to uh, to Memphis. And I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> well, fortunately, I, I knew that I was going to be going to Memphis in about four or six, four or six weeks to participate in a surprise party, basically, for Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, his 60th birthday, and also to celebrate his 40th year in the show business. So I knew I was going to be going to Memphis, and I would just get my stuff then. And I had a bag, you know, standard stuff in it, you know, clothing items and you know, uh, toiletries and things like that. And then I had a hanging bag, you know, to to wear a suit. I think I had a couple of suits, actually. One of them was this one. In Memphis, um, I stayed at the Peabody Hotel. That's where the, the concert was. And it was a, um, like I said, a surprise party. He just thought it was a regular gig that he was, he was doing basically in his in his hometown or what had become his hometown. He actually lived just across the county line in Soto County, Mississippi. He had, uh, has a, a farm there. Not a farm, but a ranch, I guess you could say. Uh, and uh, so Memphis was the city that he's he lived in since he was a kid. You know, that area he lived in since he was a kid. Uh, you know, just as Elvis had and a lot of people at that time, Carl Perkins. Um, and of course, Johnny Cash was there. You know, they all were, you know, on uh, Sun Records. At the show, I was backstage, and I was the youngest guy there. Seemed to me. Um, and at one point, there was there were people standing around talking, and I realized, hey, this is Sam Phillips. This is the DJ from the, the radio station that played all the Sun record recordings, uh, starting from the very first one, Elvis, you know, That's All Right, Mama. There was the drummer of Bill Haley and the Comets. There was Jerry Lee's sister, Gail. There was Chris Christopherson, who flown, flown there uh, from Hawaii. He was working on a movie in Hawaii, and he flew there just to be there for that occasion. And they're all talking, like, about the old days, you know, in, in Memphis and Sun Records and Jerry Lee and and I, I was just wow. I was just like wow. I, I didn't even know what I could add to the conversation. It was just great to hear them, you know, talking. Obviously, they all haven't been together in, in a while. Obviously, and it was just interesting to be there and to, to capture all of that. And then when the sh when the the show started, of course, I I escorted the band from the backstage area to the stage, and I stood at the back of the stage, not really. Um, behind the stage, but at the back of the stage. So I was kind of on the stage right behind the, the band. And I, I could see the audience and, and the ballroom. There was a piano even right there. Um, and I guess it was a piano just that was part of the stage setup because they had a separate uh, baby grand for, for Jerry to play at the front of the stage. I've never done this before, but I have to do it tonight. I'm having to stop the show 
because we got a big surprise for you, Jerry. You don't know what's going to happen. You think it's a concert, but it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your life, Mr. Jerry Reed. I was actually standing behind James Burton. He was the person I probably talked to the most in the band. Um, and he, of course, is a guitar legend, legend himself. He played with Elvis, you know, uh, at the end of his career in the 60s. And um, he was one of the Wrecking Crew guitarists. I saw how he responded to Jerry. He didn't know what Jerry was going to play next, but he could just kind of tell maybe from the first few chords what Jerry was playing, what, what the song was. So these guys, you know, James Burton, uh, Kenny Lovelace, uh, they just um, have so many songs in their head you know, because of all the gigs for so many years, right? Uh, who knows how many songs that Jerry Lee has in his head. And of course, people came and sang songs with him. Chris Christopherson actually sat at the piano with Jerry and uh, they did uh, Me and Bobby McGee. Everybody did get a chance to um, sing a few bars of Jailhouse Rock with him in the hotel before the show, Peabody Hotel in Memphis. At the time, I wrote a couple of songs kind of in the vein of the 1950s, and particularly Jerry Lee Lewis's style um, on the piano. And um, one was a rock and roll and one was a, a ballad. And I have demos of those songs. Well, Jerry Lee, um, heard the demo of the rock and roll tune, which, which is Scream. Um, and my friend Tim was telling me they were listening to it in the car one day, and and uh, it was as if Jerry, uh, he could recognize what was going on in the song and was like kind of critiquing it, but in a very um, positive way. So hearing that... Um, was very special to me too that Jerry Lee got to get this song. It was kind of written with him in mind. Uh, and so, what I'm going to do to end this tribute now is to say again, Jerry, thank you for the memories. Thank you for the music. It changed my life. A lot of great musicians uh, in rock and roll, pop music since your time. Cite you as one of their greatest influences, and I have to say you have to be included in that for me as well, because it's also a personal experience and not just a musical one that's personal, and um, that makes it even more special. So thank you, and um, all my love to the family and to all of his friends who worked with him and loved him dearly. Thank you also to Tim for opening that door of opportunity for me. Keep on rocking. Stay present in the moment. Always. Ooh, baby, when the show is over, I'll take it backstage, then we'll go to my room. I can still rock and roll. You know I can. When it comes to pleasure, I'm a hand of man And sometimes I just want to be your fan And watch the show But you came to scream Create a scene Cause she knows I treat her right Through the day and through the night That's a scheme She came to scream For you, she won't routine Dream come true, I'll satisfy it too Know what I mean? She knows I treat her right through the day and through the night, that's a scheme. She came to scream, her usual routine. A dream come true, I'll satisfy it too, know what I mean? A dream come true, I'll satisfy it too, know what I mean?